were playing. How's Blair's reformed party playing here, do you think? I think, I think the reform uh, is being seen by a lot of people here as, as being relevant perhaps to the southeast of England, but making no real difference here. Uh, you know, it's, it's a case of Islington and not Islwyn. Certainly the Labour candidate, Don Tuick, has not been helped by perceived splits and shifts over Labour's regional assembly proposals. A neighbouring Labour MP and the Islwyn constituency party are both opposed to any form of devolution, and he himself has opposed the idea in the past. It hasn't been the number one issue on the doorstep, I can tell you that. I mean, jobs, health, education, training has been uh, the thing that's concerned most people, and that's what I've been campaigning on. But it has been raised by some people, and uh, I have explained what our proposals are, and I have found a very warm response from when people understand that our proposals for devolution are nothing to do with a na nationalist, separatist agenda. They're all very much to do with giving power back to people and getting rid of the Quango state. In the Working Men's Club in Abercairn, a general dislike of devolution isn't going to divert anybody away from Labour, and the Clause 4 debate is hardly a burning issue here. But what's wrong with modernisation? You tell me. Anything wrong with it? Change has got to be made, and obviously having a new leader um, in the Labour Party, you'll have different views on different things. Well, it's a case of going along with the, with the, the, new, the new face of the Labour Party, and if, and if it's going to do a lot for the Labour vote and a lot for lot not for the working classes, that's exactly what the people around you want. Do you support the idea of a, a regional assembly, a partial devolution for Wales? No. No, I don't. No, no. But you're going to vote Labour despite oh, the fact you don't, want it, you don't want a regional assembly? Yes, yes, yes. All right. There was little disagreement in nearby Newbridge town centre. Well, I'll be honest, I haven't got a bit of sense about cause for. But that's all I bought for the party. What are the man? Devolution and, and a regional assembly, people aren't necessarily in favour of that. Do you think they'll still vote Labour anyway? Yes, definitely. If you were Labour, you were Labour. There's nothing you would do about it. The Liberal Democrats, also campaigning in Islewin, appear somewhat marginalised by the and devolution the debate. They've long that. advocated regional Excellent. government well, and they accept that the valleys are Labour heartlands. As one Labour supporter rather disarmingly put it, it wouldn't much matter if the party put up a donkey as the candidate here in Islewin, he'd still get in. The real test may be whether Plaid Cymru and the Liberal Democrats can push the Conservatives into fourth place. Kent Barker, House to House in South Wales. Poor donkey. Now, there are seven candidates standing in the Islewyn by-election. Robert Butler, the Conservative, John Bushell, Liberal Democrat, Jocelyn Davies, Pride, Plaid Cymru, Hugh Merlin Hughes, UK Independence Party, Peter Rees, Natural Law Party, Lord Such, Monster Raving Looney Party, and Don Tuig, Labour. That's it, though, from